There is no doubt in terms of mineral exports for Uganda that gold still leads, but in the 12th Mineral Conference, it emerged that the country has another emerging opportunities in what is called rare minerals with the onset of electric vehicles. There is a com competitive environment right now for the development of specifically battery raw materials and rare earths because these are materials that are in increasingly more demand relative to the supply that exists today. At the moment, this is a market that is completely controlled by the existing Chinese supply chain. And as a result, there is an appetite and an interest from Western governments to stimulate new supplies, to stimulate new processing, metal alloy magnet manufacturing in order to provide the products to enable electric vehicles and offshore wind. Uganda already has an ongoing project to exploit these rare minerals, with investors warning against delays as the world is in a race to produce these. Meanwhile, the other highlight of the conference was artisanal miners whose existence has been threatened by the increased formal investment into the sector. We are also in the process of working out programs to build capacity of artisanal miners in areas of quality, health, safety envi and environment, okay? uh, in areas of environmental safety and uh, security and uh, social, sorry, environmental, uh, social and governance structures, ESG, because it is important for the artisanal miners to be formalized and to be assisted since they are a key player in the whole value chain. The theme of this year's mineral conference is creating a viable and feasible roadmap for Uganda's minerals to contribute to economic transformation, which, in a nutshell, seeks to take the sector to the next level after the establishment of the legal framework. Rachel Nabisubi, NTV Business.